Him. Him Duncan. Him and Neutron. Hermothy. Calling someone him is basically just the PG version of calling someone that nigga. And I feel like as a society, we love talking about the him moments. But what about the not him moments? What about the moments where we sat back and thought to ourselves, man, this nigga is getting cooked. Let's talk about it. You see, 2018 was such a special time to be alive. The music was amazing. You had albums like the Black Panther album, Astro World, and Die Lit all dropped that year. And thankfully, the Kid Leroy had not dropped any music yet. During this time, Fortnite was at its peak. Niggas will be posting their Fortnite wins on their Snapchat story for the world to see. And I ain't gonna lie, getting a Fortnite win in 2018 was bigger than winning a Nobel Peace Prize. But you wanna know what else made 2018 special? LeBron James. The league literally had no answer for him during the playoffs and he was just unstoppable. 2018 LeBron is what I would imagine what Jesus would look like if he decided to ever pick up a basketball. So that year, somehow LeBron wheeled that bum ass Cavs team to the finals. And in the finals, LeBron would meet a Warriors team with a lotion deprived Kevin Durant. LeBron had a 51 ball and he was about to win this game. The Warriors had no answer for him. He was unstoppable. But you know who had an answer for him? J.R. Smith and George Hill. George Hill is at the line. If he hits both free throws, he puts the Cavs up one. The nigga misses. And listen, everyone misses free throws as part of basketball. But you know what's not part of basketball? Being a dumbass. When George Hill misses, somehow J.R. Smith snags the ball over KD's tall ass. This nigga runs to the half court line. And I'm sitting on the couch looking at my brother in disbelief like, bro, what is happening? J.R. had to see someone on the other side of the court with some weed and Henny because I ain't never seen that nigga move so fast a day in my life. I honestly believe that that's the day LeBron decided, yeah, I'm not playing with these niggas anymore. You want to know what else came out in 2018? Infinity War. The streets have been waiting for this movie for years, man. And I ain't gonna lie, this really was the biggest thing on earth. Everyone had their fair share of predictions of what they thought would happen. But the last thing that no one saw coming, the one thing that we didn't think would happen, Hulk getting washed so bad that he turned into a youth pastor. Thanos deep fried cooked the Hulk so bad. And mind you, Thanos was not using no infinity stones. It was just hands. They was just boxing. The Hulk specializes in boxing. So I'm watching this like, my nigga, T up, you're the Hulk. And that nigga was getting cooked. And guess what? The fight wasn't even that long. It was a max 15 seconds. Thanos swooped him so bad he had the Hulk scared to show his face the rest of the movie. Bruce Banner was literally in a fight. Finna lose the fight. And he was begging the Hulk to come out. What does the Hulk say? No! And it's crazy because back in 2008 when the Incredible Hulk movie dropped, the Hulk really used to be an animal. He was a beast and no one could handle him. And nowadays, the Hulk is fully clothed, wearing glasses, and speaking full sentences. He's basically just a regular civilian. I've never seen a full character development arc come straight from an ass whooping. It's honestly astonishing. Since we're on the topic of superheroes, let's talk about The Dark Knight Rises. Now, don't get it twisted. Batman is definitely him. But there is a moment in this movie that Batman got cooked so bad it had me questioning if he was even that nigga anymore not only was bang completely watching batman this whole fight he was spitting bars while doing it so boom batman is getting beat up real bad right what does batman do he reverts to old reliable he makes all the lights go out in the building and we all know batman is undefeated in the darkness he's literally a 99 overall all max badges in the darkness but nah man bane is unfazed he's just a different animal you know what bane does this is what bane says think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blind. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. Come on, man. Come on, man. You think darkness is your ally? Bro, that's hard, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if Bane goes so for some of the top tier rappers out right now. I really believe if Bane picked up a mic at an earlier age, he would have been a platinum selling rapper. Before we get into the last and final not him moment, I just want to show you a very quick not him moment. Come on, come on, 
The funniest thing about that clip is I'm pretty sure its intentions was to be a serious moment, but I just can't take it serious. It's unironically one of the funniest clips I've seen. Bro really thought he was finna make the sacrifice play and be the hero. Man, if I was there, I would have had a completely different reaction. Like I would still be crying because I that was my dog, you know what I'm saying? But they wouldn't be sad tears. The tears would be more like, <laughs> man, this thing is an idiot. For the last and final not him moment. We got to go to Stranger Things. Now, let me ask you a question. Who would you choose to win in a fight? A 20 year old dish male with superpowers who has had these superpowers for a long time and he, they're basically fully developed or a 10 year old dish girl who has the same exact powers, but they're not as developed and she's still learning how to use them. So you're probably going to have this 20 year old male sweeping this 10 year old girl in a fight like how the 76ers swept the Nets, right? That's not at all what happened. This dude Vecna got washed by 11. Not only did she cook, bro, she kicked him out of our dimension. She made a dimension just for bro. Not only did she do that, she made the nigga ugly. Like, I ain't gonna lie, back in his day, in his prime, Vecna probably could have pulled a couple girls, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he wasn't a bad looking dude. But the Vecna now, he is not pulling a single salt. He's a mix of Squidward and Voldemort. He's horrifying. Like I done heard it being kicked out your hood, being kicked off the block by some OGs, but being kicked out of a whole dimension, my nigga, a dimension that you spent your whole life in. This is the only dimension you know, and you got kicked out. You got ran out by a 10 year old girl. My nigga, that's unacceptable. But listen, man, that's all for the video. That's all the not him moments. Really, there's a whole bunch of more not him moments, but these are the ones I really wanted to highlight. And man, if you could just hit that like button, it really helps me. It pushes my video out to more people so the video spreads and gets more awareness and gets bigger. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you stay to the end, I appreciate you even more, man. I love y'all, man. Young Spider out, Ski.